Well, what a surprise. As usual, we have our bi-weekly scheduled fear-mongering about the food supply. And I guess the main thing to say here is they want people afraid of running out of food. We're going to starve. But reality is they're just making it more expensive and limiting access to specific products, mainly animal foods, meat, dairy, just like with the you know what <laughs> nonsense. People are going to willingly submit their food access for something, whether it's like they submitted the freedom for their safety, maybe it's carbon credits, perhaps buying beans because they can't afford steak, or going vegan because they think the steak is going to kill them. The feedlot beef carnivores are just as bad, putting more money in the hands of the evil psychos that control the food supply. The same feedlot beef carnivores that faked the meat plants being shut down several times already. Deadly avian flu sends egg prices soaring. A deadly and highly infectious avian flu is forcing U.S. farmers to kill millions of egg-laying hens, reducing the country's egg supply and driving up prices. On Thursday, retailers paid between $2.80 and $2.89 for a dozen large grade A white eggs in the Midwest. That's more than double the roughly $125 they cost in March. What we know about the deadliest U.S. bird flu outbreak in seven years. Nearly 23 million birds have died. It's the worst U.S. outbreak of the avian flu since 2015, when more than 50 million birds died. The outbreak is driving up consumer prices for eggs and chicken meat that, like many costs, have already been rising due to inflation. For the current week, the average U.S. price of chicken breasts rose to $3.93 per pound at major supermarkets, sharply higher than last week's $3.14 price. A year ago, the price was $2.48. Egg prices have also gone up compared to 2021, and breast tenders cost a full dollar more now than they did a year ago, according to the USDA. Now, numbers in the millions sounds bad, but when you find out that Americans consume 22 million chickens per day, you start to wonder why only several days worth of chicken is increasing prices so much. Same with the eggs. You know, Americans consume several hundred million eggs per day. So why is the product doubling in price over 200% of its value with only a 1% reduction, less than that, in yearly supply? It's complete bullocks, as <laughs> you guys over the pond would say. Uh, Big Egg went from making 375 million per day to 867 million per day. And Big Chicken <laughs> went from making 327 million per day to 519 million. Now, those are just gross estimates, and their actual profit is probably even higher. But it's crazy that all of these big food suppliers can cooperate with each other to increase prices across the board, and most people don't have other options besides the grocery store. Of course, this isn't just about your local supermarket. Bird flu, Ukraine war, push egg prices higher worldwide. Severe outbreaks of bird flu in the United States and France are tightening global egg supplies and raising prices for the food staple as the war in Ukraine disrupts shipments to Europe and the Middle East. <laughs> Come on. The wording is hilarious. The global egg supply, as if eggs are a global commodity and you can't have a few chickens in your backyard. It's hard to know if this is the real deal or if it's just another part of the predictive programming. You know, we know these psychos try to push a new story on us every week, but most of them don't stick. When a story actually does stick, we won't know until they keep dragging it on for weeks, months, and months, and months. Creating the idea that these supply issues are global problems is you know, making people feel powerless like they can't actually do anything about it. In recent weeks, farmers have culled 11 million egg-laying hens due to a severe outbreak of avian flu. Ernest predict that millions more hens will be killed in a bid to stamp out the epidemic. And now I wouldn't say I'm a farmer or an expert on this, but I do know that most farmers get rid of their laying hens around this time of year for a fresh batch. Because they stop laying, they send them off to get killed, whatever. 
Same thing with certain farmers destroying a certain portion of the vegetable crop like we were hearing last year if they get subsidies or if it's not fit for consumption. So I would bet they aren't calling perfectly good laying hens and even if they are, that number is usually being replaced anyway this time of year. But you know, who knows? You know, we're stuck inside our homes listening to social media as the only source of information when, you know, almost everything we found is a lie when you actually go outside. As Shanghai lockdown continues, residents face food and supply shortages. So if you guys haven't heard, the you know what <laughs> is back in full blast in China. At least that's what the media is telling us. We will never really know what's happening because we cannot teleport ourselves to China to see if the media is telling the truth or not. But you got to give the media the benefit of the doubt that they're lying because they usually are. And these people control all media sources. So truthful communication is silenced. Have you ever spoken to a Chinese person? I mean, I, I buy stuff from my business, so I have, but like in that way of knowing what's going on, no, most of us have not. Point of me bringing this up is that people living in cities are dependent on supply chains owned by evil people. I'm not going to go into the climate lies because I'm not allowed to, but they have created this narrative that cities are better for the environment because of more efficient food transportation, as if having some chickens in your backyard uh, pollutes the local river. Uh, so, as always, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this video and, uh, you know, you kind of calms you down. You know that all this stuff in the news is nonsense just to stay positive and happy and focused on yourself. So you guys can go to frank com if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Uh, speaking of eggs, we might have some relatively soon on Frankie's Arrange Meat. So guys, definitely watch the vlog tomorrow.